everybody, and welcome to season two, episode 24 of the Creator Cast. With us, we have Ash's Archive. Hi. Welcome back. Hey. Thank you for bringing me back. I'm excited. Happily. You, you've slowly become one of, like, the, the most fun guests we've had, even though it's been seven months since you were last on. Wow, has it really been that long? It has, hasn't it? December. Time flies. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so, welcome. Thank Glad you. Glad to have you. How's life been? Okay, wait. Before, before we get into any, like, actual interview stuff, I have a question for you. I got an answer for you. What what short person in your life hurt you that you feel the need to take it out on me? <laughs> There's an actual answer for that, and that's the worst part. <laughs> oh, damn, is there really... No, no, no. I make jokes with you because you're, you, we can, I can pull up the clip from the last Creator Cast episode. Five, three and a half inches, right? But no, you decided yeah. to make your spider Sona five, four. And I think it's really just sad that you had number. the point five. I, I just wanted it to be even. I don't then, think I'm at fault. Then why that. did you tell me it was five, three and a half? See, because you were already laughing. No, you were already laughing at 5'4", and I was like, well, that's not even my real height. <laughs> that's actually fair. It's like an Oompa Loompa. Wow. We, um, a little bit ago, we had a uh, capital cosplay on here, and there was, like, I slipped in, like, three jokes that I had to cut out about you being an Oompa Loompa. Wow. I posted one of them. You post them all the time. I post a lot of them. Yeah. So many people just like send me like reels about short people now. I'm kind of here for it, to be honest. I have like three people that will just message me randomly and be like, hey, send this to Ash. <laughs> That's so good. I oh, always laugh. I think it's absolutely hysterical, to be honest. Dude, and then there are the people, though, that like start getting genuinely upset about it. And I'm like, do they really? It's very, yeah. Uh, do you remember that guy a while back that you messaged me about? Or like... Did he message you? No, uh, but just the fact oh. that like, even that he was upset in your comments or whatever. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's so clear that these they are... They try to make it as clear as possible. That yeah. like, it's a joke and I'm fine with it and I enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I feel like the fact that like, it's also not just like, that's all it is. Like, we share each other's posts and everything, and we... Yeah, exactly. Like, all like, that kind I, of stuff. We've made a pretty cool with friends, like... Yeah. I just... It's I, not I, I think it's so funny, because I've had a couple of people be like, hey, why are you so mean to Ash? And I'm like, it's... I'm not being mean. <laughs> well... Just to, cl to clear the air for everybody, I'm fine with this. This is an ongoing joke. It's, yeah. It's totally cool. Yeah. I just got a great idea for something I should do next. Oh boy. Yeah. I don't know whether to be excited or scared. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I want to kind of get into it. Um, you've recently unveiled your new suit, your uh, spectacular and amazing combo. Mm hmm Finally. <laughs> How? That's awesome. How'd that come to be? Okay, so basically... I people have been making fan art of like the live action Spider-Man suits in the spectacular style and it kind of just hit me that I'm like nobody's really done these as suits at least from what I've seen I think there's a Raimi one out there uh, or at least there's a pattern out there but I don't know if any I've seen anybody actually make the suit so I kind of was just like well I would love to see like a Tasm 1 mashup so I found like a fan art to base it off of, and I sent it to uh, Jaegercore, who he's done a ton of spectacular patterns, and I his advanced spectacular pattern just looks crazy good. So I was like, if I'm gonna have somebody do a spectacular pattern, I want it to be him. Yeah, I need to uh, check So it I out. reached out to him and I sent him that, and we did a little bit of back and forth. There's actually two different versions of the pattern, because um, he did one that was based on the art, so it's, it's the one that I have. That's the one I ended up choosing. Um, but he has another one that's, it's more uh, like TASM based. It has more of the TASM details on it, um, which looked really cool. I actually had a really difficult time choosing between the patterns because they both came out really, really good. Um, 
So yeah, I got the pattern made from him and then I got the suit made from print costume because I had a whole bunch of points from everybody using my code, which thank you to everybody that does. It's a huge help and is pretty much the only reason that I can still get suits. Um, so I got that made uh, and I actually held on to it for a little while because I wasn't really ready to unveil it just yet. Uh, cause it took me a really long time to get around to painting it just cause like, you know, life gets in the way and other projects and everything. Did you puff paint it? No. Mm-hmm. Just the webbing, yeah. Nice, okay. Yeah, I, I, when I sent it to you, I was debating whether or not I'd do the piping and I ended up not doing it. Yeah. So, um, I, yeah, I, I think, I think that was your suggestion. I can't remember if I said do it or not, but. I think you said not to. I think that's where we landed. But, oh yeah. Um. Because I felt like it would be too busy. Um, yeah, so yeah, just the web lines are done, which I think was the right move because uh, it's on white fabric, not colored fabric, and the webbing was kind of like a little more faded than I wanted it to be. So the paint really helps it stand out a lot better. Um, and then the face shell, I had the file. I bought it from Sensational a while back, and I had recently got a 3D printer. So that was actually the first shell I've printed since like 2019 myself. Um, so yeah, and I it has three different sets of lenses, and then a fourth set that I just didn't get around to doing because I got lazy. Dude, that's amazing. Um, did you process it and everything? Yeah, I made I did all of it. That's great. Yeah, so I was pretty happy with it. There's a lot of mixed feelings on it. It seems on those lenses because really? a lot of people are a lot of people are against yellow lenses, but I feel like yours really work, especially because the rims are blue. I I really liked the blue how um how like the blue frames came out. I was really proud of it. Yeah. I was going back and forth for a while as to whether I do that color scheme or not. But I just I think it works with that suit. I think it works really well. So I love that. I love that suit. I think it looks incredible. And what I really love is that um there's one thing that I feel like could have made it or broke it. And that's literally breaking the logo. If you had the segments in the logo, I think it would have very much overcomplicated it and made it a bit more tasm than um, spectacular. But I think mm -hmm. you found the perfect balance. And I know it wasn't just you, well, it was yeah. also Jaeger Gordon, but. Yeah, of course. He, he did it, such an incredible job on that pattern. The other version of it that he did has the segmented logo, which I thought looked really cool because it was like, it was segmented, but it still had that like cartoon style to it. But the only reason I didn't want to do that is because when Print Costume does their screen printed emblems, they won't do breaks in the logo like that. It'll just be connected anyway. So I was like, I might as well just go for the the full together logo if they're going to put it that way anyway. Yeah. So. I've recently decided that besides Tasm 1, um, Far From Home is my favorite Spidey movie. Really? And I'm not sure if that's different oh. from what it was last time. So... Well, I don't remember. I know that's a very hot take, though. <laughs> I know. I was uh, I was looking at something uh, earlier today, and I just saw, like, a tier list of Spidey movies, and Far From Home was second to last. I am unashamed about being a Far From Home lover, so, like, I've always enjoyed that movie. I think it's fine. I don't think it's the best Spider-Man movie, but, like, I think it's fine. Like, I, I've always enjoyed it, so I think it gets too much of a bad rap. Wasn't that your first suit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was my first... Yeah, it was. Wow. I have, um... I recently just wore my suit to my first con. Oh, yeah, how was it? I meant to ask. Oh, dude, it's so much fun. I... I ended up meeting up with uh, Kashishis and uh, Spider.jpg. Mm -hmm. JPEG, nicest guy I've ever met. He And his suit Good. is so cool. Um, oh, his suit is sick. Glorious. Oh my god. Is he in person? It's surreal. I can't even imagine. It's That suit came out absolutely incredible. He did a really great job on that. Um, and if you see most of their pictures from Fan Expo, I took those. Um, yeah, I noticed that. I tagged you like all of them. I've I've become um, so I'm really wanting to start doing photography because of that day. I've always wanted to do it and everything, but there are a couple shots, and I'll actually send them to you after. But uh, there's a couple mm -hmm. shots that I swear look like Tasm, like they look like some Tasm oh, nice. stock footage or stock images. Oh yeah, I've seen them. 
Yeah. It was awesome. And I'm just, yeah. that was the highlight of my weekend. It's really been interesting to kind of see, especially as a shell maker, see people like um, Nocturnal Craft Cosplays. Um, we had him on here a couple episodes ago. He makes his face shells out of cardboard, but they look like like the face shells I make. Mm-hmm. And it's incredible. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy what some people can do with, like, the simplest of materials. Yeah. That's, like... I always try to tell anybody that's like just new and getting into Spider-Man cosplays, like you don't have to go out and drop one to two hundred dollars on a shelf. You can just make one. It's yeah. like there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, um, that's absolutely true. But also, if anybody is interested in dropping like a hundred bucks for a shell, <laughs> you can check out my commissions. I, I'm d- I, just saying. Yeah, or that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you still have like one of the cheapest prices out there, so I would definitely recommend getting it from you. Yeah. I am so proud of it. Except, okay. The ADHD is ADHDing. Um, <laughs> but I, last night, I am so upset. I was in my garage, I was working on commissions and everything, and I turn and knock my airbrush off my desk, and it, it oh breaks. Um, oh my god, Not tragedy. only did it break, but the cup was still full of paint. So that went everywhere. So, oh, you poor thing. Oh, I'm so upset. I have 20 cents in my bank account right now. And I need to get a new no. airbrush to continue doing commissions because I have like eight orders still. Oh my gosh. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just like, I'm going to do what I can to get money right now so I can get that and yeah. hopefully get stuff moving again. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, but it's, it's fine. Are you a Raimi fan? I feel like we've had this discussion and I forgot. Oh yeah, you hate Toby. So, yeah. um... I do not hate... Do you know somebody, like, messaged me and asked, and they're like, why do you hate Toby? And I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't hate Toby. <laughs> See, you know what I love is since you come on here, I've just continuously, without even trying, continued to cause chaos in your life. Yeah, you really have. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway... I know you hate Toby, but for the people that don't hate Toby, um, I've recently found the perfect airbrush paint for his lens for the lenses. Oh my god, it's so good! If you ever do a Ray, uh, a Raimi cosplay, you know, I know you hate him, but it's I feel like it would be something good to try out. Oh I yeah, can- I I only have two Raimi suits, three if you count the Human Spider, but yeah. Exactly, only three. Only three. <laughs> okay, okay, hear me out. I believe we can solve two of the MCU's biggest problem with one motion, right? Okay. Okay. Take the logo from the Iron Spider suit, take the logo from the integrated suit, and swap them. And swap them? Mm-hmm. You'd have the gold on the, on the one, and just a black logo on the other. It would work so much better. I can see that. That's a valid argument, to be honest. I don't know. I blame Marvel. I don't know. Personally, I I like the blue sections on the MCU Iron Spider just because everybody makes fun of Tom Holland's Spider-Man and calls him, like, Iron Boy Jr. and all that. And I feel like this makes it look more like a Spider-Man suit than just an Iron Man suit. Oh, so, I, personally, I'm a fan of it. Oh, yeah. But, I like, love- I understand why people don't like it. I love the blue parts. I think that just the fact, like you just said, it's a Spider-Man suit. It's very clearly a Spider-Man suit. Yeah. And it's, that's one thing is like they have gold in there, but they keep it to a minimum. Mm -hmm. My only thing is I wish the red was a little bit more red. Fair. It just feels very purple. Oh my God, it's been seven months. That's crazy. I felt so weird, like, after the first episode messaging you. But then, like, now it's kind of like, I'll just randomly message you and be like, hot, you're short. Out of nowhere. Yeah, literally. That's like, just for everybody listening, we have that conversation at least once a week. At least. Just to put it in perspective. Yeah. And then we start arguing about, like, why being short is beneficial. And Ash is just, like, wrong the whole time. 
My goal for the end of the year is I would like the seven piece suit to be done. And I'm, I've been dying to make a Mayday Spider Girl suit. Like I've been, that's been in my head for a while. I have the pattern. I have like everything. I'm, I'm ready to get it. I just haven't started it yet because life and other cosplays. That would be but, amazing. Oh yeah, that's like for sure. That's one I've, I've been really dying to do. But good for you, dude. Um, Thank you. So I want to ask you kind of, this is it's kind of like a weird question given that, like you said, it's a Spider-Man centric podcast, but like, does your boyfriend do content creation like Instagram or anything? Not currently. He has an Instagram account, but he doesn't post anything. Um, not like so how So not really. No. No, it's something we've toyed with. He may start, like, streaming because he does a ton of video games. Um, so he may start streaming at some point, but it's his computer, his PC broke recently. So that's, it's going to be a little bit. Um, so, but yeah, no, he, he also doesn't really have the time because believe it or not, he puts so much work into my page because he's my photographer and my editor. So oh, wow. he takes all of my photos and he edits everything. All of my reels and everything have been edited by him. That's so, crazy. Well, like, okay, not not all of them. Some of them I do myself, but a lot of them are done by him. So that's cool. Um, yeah. So he doesn't really have the time. <laughs> so then, if you're okay with me asking, what's the uh, what's kind of it like? I guess the fact that he is such a big part of your page kind of de- defeats the purpose of this question, but like your content creation is it never mind i don't know when you guys first started going out was it like a weird thing for him um well i've i started this page while we were dating so um yeah we were dating for like two years before i ever started this account oh okay um yeah because it's been four and a half years now that we've been together damn um yeah so it was like when i first brought up what You've only been posting on your page for two and a half years? Like, around that? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, a little over two years, because it was, like, March of, I think, 2022. Wow. I see. Wow. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, it hasn't been that long. It's crazy to think about, but it really hasn't been that long. Do you guys, like, a third of that time has been... has passed since we've done the Creator Cast episode? Yeah, literally. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, so when I first brought up the idea of making a page, he was super supportive. He was entirely for it. That's he was crazy. like, yeah, I think you should post everything you do. Um, so I ended up making the page, and then once I finally started to, like, find my footing and, like, I got a suit done and, like, we could take photos and everything, um, he got a new camera. So he started taking all of my pictures because he went to school for photography. That's so, um Yeah, so, like, he knows. He's the only reason my page looks good. Like, he knows how to take photos and everything. So, um, yeah, it's it pretty much, I owe a lot of my page to him. That's He's awesome. done so much more work for this page than anybody would ever guess. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. That's cool. I'm, I'm so, I hate it because I'm a photographer. And some of the pictures they've, that the guys have posted from Fan Expo, they've seen, mm-hmm. like I said, I took all of those. And it's, I know how to get these awesome shots that look so cinematic and just, like, Mm -hmm. capture the character perfectly. I don't have a clone. I can't take pictures like that for my suits. Yeah. So I have to rely on other people. And I I really appreciate, like, my mom. She'll take pictures of me and everything. But she's a very, um, like, I don't know, standard type of photographer. She'll just do, like, the from the front picture kind of thing. Yeah. Whereas me, I'll be like, okay, now jump up on that wall and let me like get an under angle with a glare of the sun. Mm-hmm. It's it's crazy. I hate it. But I'm I'm Yeah. I'm teaching a friend how to do photography. So I'm hoping that'll mean I can get her to do my photos. No, um, you recently did a photo shoot with that and I absolutely love that. I thought that would turn out so well. Thank you. Yeah, it's like, we try to find different locations every once in a while. Like, we have, I think, like, four different places we usually shoot at. And I try to 
change it up every once in a while so I'm not posting just the same photo set over and over with a different costume. So I was really happy with how those ones came out. Well, like, there's the, specifically the one we used for the announcement. Um, I haven't shown it off yet at the time of recording this, but the one of, like, it's the wall and then you're looking out. Um, that's the masked one. I oh, think okay. that just yeah. looked... It just looked, dare I say, spectacular. Yeah, honestly, that's like one of my favorite shots we've ever gotten. It's, I don't know how to describe it. It's perfect. Yeah, it, it, I was really happy with how those came out. I was just happy that the suit came out good. I was nervous because like I got it done on white fabric because they weren't able to do it on color fabric. Yeah. So I was like really nervous about how the colors were going to look, but I actually think they look pretty decent for being on white fabric. I think, you know what, I think being on the white fabric was probably the best choice. Um, really? Yeah, because you're working with Spectacular, which a lot of times the suit can look pink or like somewhere between red and pink. And I think having yeah, the white, it kind of lightens it up a little bit. And also, I'm kind of just talking out of my ass here, so, you know. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I did. Somebody, I don't remember if they commented or if they DM'd me, but somebody made a joke about how um, I'm the perfect Spectacular because I'm the same height. <laughs> Because he's super short and, like, across the spider rivers. Well, you know, earlier... And I was like, you know what, yeah. Earlier I was going to make a... a you, know, you can't technically do a screen-accurate Tasm suit. Because you're, like, six mm. feet shorter than me. Yeah, literally. Right. No, Andrew Garfield is tall, man. He's a tall man. Dude, but next to him in that one picture you got at the con, you just look mm. so tiny. You look like a little kid. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So I know, I was there. I had to literally, like, look up at him. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, what do you think your favorite, like, moment of all of this has been? This community, this doing all this stuff. What do you think? Ooh, interesting. I have a couple, actually. Um, a lot of times, there's just something about a kid's face lighting up when they spot you. That's yeah. just, like... That's what this is. This that's the best feeling in the world. And like they want to run up and get a hug and take a picture and like it's that's the coolest feeling in the in the world. Or like so when, like that's in there for sure. Or like when you're in your shell and like you're looking forward and like you don't you don't have much peripheral vision. But you just yeah. hear Spider Man, Spider Man behind mm -hmm. you and it's oh my gosh. Yeah. It... Yeah, I would say there have been a few times, though, that I've been, like, I I'll get recognized when I have my mask off. Um, and, like, people will call me by name, which is absolutely wild to me. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Oh, yeah, because it was, like, it was, the first one that comes to mind is always um, when I was at the convention in Texas to meet Andrew Garfield. I was, like, standing in the photo op area, and there was a few people just sitting there, and some guy looks up, and he just looks at me, and he's like, Ash? And I was like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, yeah. So, if I ever so find that out, was really, really cool. If I ever find out we're going to the same con, I'm going to, like, go in under undercover and just out of nowhere just randomly yell ash whenever you're around. Mm -hmm. well, well, like, people will do it. And, like, if somebody's trying to get my attention and I have the mask on, people will just be like, ash's archive, and I'll be like, whoa, who, who's looking for me? <laughs> so, like, it's getting re recognized is always really cool there was actually there was one con i went to um where i was doing a casual day at the con i wasn't in cosplay i just had like a spider-man baseball jersey on and i walked into the con and the first person we ran into knew me and i was like you know who i am without a suit on like that's crazy have, that is super cool have you ever had anybody who wanted to get a picture with you not in suit yeah he did we took that's a picture cool. it was super nice everybody that comes up to me for photos is always like so kind I, I love taking photos with people. That's great. I have so many people that I want to, like, go and meet, like, in real life, because I just think it'd be so much fun. I really want to go to uh, well, yeah. Toronto next year. Good. Because I have friends. Oh, well, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, I really want to do, um, I want to do Dragon Con one year. It's Same. probably not going to happen anytime soon, but, like, Dragon Con is the one I would love to go to. Where is Dragon Con again? It's, I... I want to say Georgia, I think. Yeah. It might be Atlanta. I don't know. I would have to double check. Okay. I get what you're... 
I would love to go. So everybody goes. Mm. That's kind of the thing. Everybody goes. <laughs> no, I yeah, because have... also, go ahead. Well, Dragon Con is a very like cosplay centric convention, so like that's the place to be for cosplayers. So I really, I want to go. Just one year, I want to go. I'm like, I have a tier list of people I want to meet. Not a tier list, but just a list of like. Uh, I was about to ask. It's like you have a tier list. <laughs> I do have a list of people I want to meet, like in person. And uh, one of those people is you. And then you have like my, uh, I got Robbie and Brad. They're, they're just my guys. Like. Yeah. Yeah, you guys seem like a really close knit group. I would like to, I would like to think so. But in reality, it's not so much. Just like Robbie will message me when he's high and we'll just have the mm. best conversations. And then Brad will just message me the most random stuff. It's great. Yeah, Robbie's one of the people that messages me short jokes all the time. Robbie's one of the ones that messages me to message you short jokes all the time. <laughs> That's so good. Well, I think he's graduated to just sending them to me himself. I love it. Because he's definitely come you know, to me a couple of times. It's really funny. Oh, I love that. Um. All right, I do have a few last questions for you, and then we'll be finished. Right. Um. With the topic of my fan film, because we were talking about this before the um, meeting, do you have a favorite? Like, have you seen any fan films that you particularly really liked or didn't like? Um, okay, I'm going to be real. I haven't seen a lot of them. It's a lot of them are just like, they're on my watch list. I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, and a lot of the ones that I'm looking forward to are not out yet. Because <laughs> I've donated to a ton of them. I've donated to like five or six films. Um, but none of them are out yet. So I'm like, I'm really excited for all these movies, but Wh which one they're not quite there yet. you're most excited for? Oh, God. Okay. Um, there's two that immediately come to mind outside of yours. Um, one of them is Spider-Man Every Hour, okay. uh, which is being done by, um, uh, I think it's NYC Spider-Man. I don't know if his, I know his account went down for a little while. I don't know if that's still his name or not, Okay. but um, he's doing every hour. That one looks really, really good. And I think he makes a perfect Peter Parker. So okay. I'm and that one takes place in like the fifties, I think fifties or sixties or something wow. like that. So it's like, I'm really intrigued. It looks like it's going to be really good from the like teaser that he posted. Um, so that one for sure. And also I think it's called Spider-Man Convergence. It's going to be a Peter and Miles film. I'm so excited for Convergence. I'm that one I'm hyped for. That one looks really, really good. So uh, those those are the first two that come to mind anyway. Oh. There's more, though. It's I'm every film I've donated to. I'm hyped for like, I can't wait. I OK, wait, speaking of donating, um, mm -hmm. we've recently started. Oh, a Kickstarter. yeah. Plug yourself. Yeah. Let me just plug real quick. Um, we recently started a Kickstarter for our film, Spider-Man, um, The Fight of Our Lives. Ignore me saying, um, so much, I'm freaking out, guys. Anyway, so, we're kind of, we finished the script for episode one. We're gonna be, very quickly be moving through the next episodes, and really appreciate it if you donate. Hit the link in the bio. Um, Spider-Man, The Fight of Our Lives, guys. Oh, yeah, it's a Peter Parker Go and Ben Riley story. Now. Do it now. Yeah, do it now. That's a command. Okay. Actually, actually, do it after you finish this episode. Oh, yeah. Finish this first. Yeah. But or also, pause it, go donate, and come back. Great idea. Also, there we go. Little, uh, little thing in case any of y'all are interested. Earlier this year, I released a film on this channel, a short film. It was A Night Alone, a Peter Parker story. It takes place before this film, or before this series, and it's in the same universe. Just saying. Go watch it. It's really good. I watched it like four times. Did you really? Yeah, I did. I love it so much. There was somebody who commented and just said, "Like this is this is what Peter Parker is supposed to be." Exactly. You nailed I it. Lit up. Like, I see a lot of fan films that are a lot higher of a budget because my budget was zero, and uh, they're like they put so much more effort in. They have teams of people, and they don't get Peter Parker right. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, if I can do that, it's me in my room, film everything in one night, and still make that work, I've done something right. Yeah, for sure. So. Yeah, I kind of, 
I want to do something similar to that, but it's not going to be Peter Parker. It's going to be like my spider Sona, and like I want to try to do something. There's a couple pictures on my wall over there. You can spot them. It's really dark over there, so you probably can't see them. But somewhere. I mostly am just focusing on the topless dude. That's all I. Can oh yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's funny because right next to him, that's all um, like fan art and stuff that people have sent me. Of your suit? Mm-hmm. Dude, uh, not all of them. Some of them are in like different suits. But, that's yeah, cool. that's all fan art. Which I actually have to add to it. I've gotten a few more since then. So that's like my favorite part of the wall. That's <laughs> like, that's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh, wait, now that. I want to make you something and send it to you to. I'll put it up. I try to put up as many as I can. I'm running out of room drastically, so I'm trying to fit in. I might have to like make them a little smaller so I can fit more because I I love getting fan art. That's like, it's, I'm so honored when I get fan art. So it's like, I literally like, I will gush over it for the longest time. I love that. I've had a fun interview. So thank you very much for coming on. Yeah, thanks for having me. I do want to say one thing before we wrap it up. I have an update oh. uh, to my favorite restaurant. Because last time, last time I think I said it was like it was a random pizza place, but I went to that pizza place again and it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Wait, was so I they're doing being decent. Huh? Yeah, I, I think mine was the first time you did it. I want to say I might be wrong. That makes sense, actually. Yeah. So I said like a random pizza place. That pizza place is trash in my eyes now. So <laughs> my new answer is Texas Roadhouse because I'm really hooked on their rolls and I really want fried pickles right now. So that's my new answer. All right, all right. I didn't even have to ask. I love it. Mm. All right, we got some questions. I've been waiting. You've been waiting? Nice. Dude, I've been I was waiting that. to share this. I'm sure there are many people hanging on their edge of the seat waiting for that one. The, the 400 fans that will immediately swarm to this video. Yeah, and the, or like the six that are actually going to watch it. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Yeah, retention is the thing I struggle with. Mm hmm. Um, but all right, so now that we got that question out of the way, there's one I gotta ask people. What do you think will happen to the character of Spider-Man 2099 when the year rolls around? You already asked me this. What the heck? Yeah, this was in our last interview. Um, I don't remember what my answer was, to be honest. Um, but like, I don't know. They'll probably just like rename them 3099. True. I don't it know. Doesn't... I don't see them... I don't see them ever making Miguel the main Spider-Man, so I just think they'll probably rename him. I just, I would be so angry if they put him in the main universe. I don't think they will. I don't know, they just did it with Gwen. I mean, I guess. Well, I'm like, I'm not even reading the main story, so like, maybe they will. I don't know. <laughs> you been like an Ultimate? Oh my god, Ultimate's been incredible so far. That's the one that I've been like really hooked on. There's a, a theory going around that after... So I, I'm not caught up in Ultimate, so I'm like... He hasn't revealed his identity to MJ yet. That's where I am. Um, huh. But basically what the theory goes is that... You know how they announced the eight deaths of Spider-Man? Mm -hmm. Well, the theory is that they're going to kill off Peter at the end of that story. And something is going to happen so that Ultimate Peter is going to take his place. Oh, weird. Okay. Yeah. I would love it if that happened. But also... I mean... I'm... Would I? Mm, we'll see. <laughs> I would have mixed feelings on that. Yeah, I feel that. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Ash, for coming on. It was a lot of yeah. fun. Yeah. Um, anytime. Bring me back anytime. I have nothing better to do. <laughs> All right. Season three. Stay short. Um, and one moment. All right, so yeah, we already did all that stuff. Um, <laughs> and everybody, the cosplay of this week is by uh, Wens 1998, and it's the Venom. It's it's his Spidey turning Venom sh 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 shoot, and it just looks so good. Like, oh, it looks incredible. He, honestly, Wens never misses. Let's be real. That's so true. He very very underrated. Go to give him a follow. Everybody mentioned yeah. will be linked below. But his stuff is just so good. Like it really is. The editing is also crazy. 
Oh, unmatched. Imagine if there was a fan film made by Wendy's. Oh, he, he would, would kill it for sure. All right. And with that, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Um, please consider supporting the Patreon. Uh, yeah, the Patreon as well, but also the Kickstarter. Uh, that's the biggest thing right now is just funding the fan film because we need actors. We need VFX, other stuff. Yeah. Coolness. Um, subscribe. Do that now. Okay, bye, guys.